what motivates me is uh, the way the guys treated me, honestly, when I came into the program. Uh, I couldn't thank these guys enough. Um, regardless of the outcome of last year's game and me being on the other side of the ball, um, I'm here now, and I think that's what I really need to focus on and focusing on this team and what we can do this year. Hey, Jermaine, as far as you deciding to come here, I mean, what led to the decision for you to transfer to Alabama? Um, you know, as fortunately, I'm just trying to make the best decision I can for me and my family. And um, like I said, again, I couldn't thank this program enough for the way they welcomed me and uh, brought me in and treat me like one of their own. So from this point on now, I'm just focused on this team and what we can do to get better. What do you remember about the Alabama defense? You faced them twice last year. What made them difficult or different from other defenses? Um, these guys work together. These guys work day in and day out. Um, they go over film. They watch a lot of film. They put in a lot of work. They got a lot of great leaders. They got a lot of great players at each position. So at the end of the day, when you can correlate that all into the field, it's just a great team. How has your skill set improved as you've come into this program and being part of a position group that's posted so much talent throughout recent years? Uh, honestly, my entire mindset when I even came into this program was just to work and uh, try to understand the offense, get it down with Bryce, and um, work with a lot of the players that has just came in just as well as me because there's freshman players that came in with me as well, uh, another transfer as well. So my my main focus is on those guys and, you know, making sure our bond is all good and together and everybody is on the same page regardless of what grade you're in. So, so we can all – because whoever's on the field is going to have to produce. How much did Bryce influence your decision to, to ultimately come here? Did you guys talk about that at all or just having him uh, influence your decision to come here? And uh, what is your relationship like with him as well? Uh, my relationship with Bryce is great. I mean, you know, it's a guy I've also known since high school as well. Um, I did my last two years out in uh, California. So our relationship was pretty uh, there as well. But um, pretty much is when I came in here, it was just – it just clicked on like we just both wanted the wanted the best for each other. Uh, he wanted me to learn the offense as quick as possible. So it's just as far as meeting up and trying to learn anything I could do or any little tips I need or anything I can work on as far as us being just an overall better uh, receiving core and uh, quarterback room. How have you seen like, the whole receiver room just gel together as a group, knowing that a lot of competition is going on, but how has that group gelled together so far? Uh, the group is gelled together because we honestly don't worry about the competition part. Like we honestly, our competition is the man that's lined up across from us. Um, we as receivers and we know that we just need to learn the offense and learn everything just about the offense. So when whoever's out on the field can get the play right or anything like that. So I don't feel like it's any sort of competition between any of us receivers. We're all close. We're all brothers at the end of the day. So we all want the best for each other. So if anybody's missing, missing any part of the offense here, 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 we all make sure we can, you know, sort of settle down on the same page with it. You are a new player here, but given your college experience, have you found yourself maybe trying to step up as a leader in that receiver room and try to help bring those young guys along? Uh, you know, definitely as an older player or you going into more, the more experience you have in college, you definitely want to uh, form and shape into the leadership role as you have the younger players coming in and uh, the, them needing new, uh, them needing a leader to look up to. But um, as far as that go, I mean, you know, I feel like all the older guys in the room has honestly stepped into that role of being a leader to the younger players. And um, that's all we really much care about. We don't care about who is just, just main, main, main guy, main this and that. We just all know that what time it is as we get older and experienced, and we know that what, the, what it's like for those young guys to come in and need a leadership uh, model in the room. Coach Saban's talked about, uh, I think in the spring and in the last couple of months, about how you've been the most consistent guy at the receiver spot. Um, what's the key to being consistent the way you have been? Um, Honestly, it's just uh, sticking to the same script. Uh, I just come in, I just do what they tell me to do. And um, I just make sure I take care of my body so I can uh, perform the best way I can. And um, it's honestly, that's honestly not something I'm honestly worried about is just being inconsistent or anything like that. I'm just honestly focused on this team and what I can do better and where I can, you know, help anybody out. So. When you first got here, what was that dynamic like when you met the team? Were there any jokes about previous stops about seeing each other in the past? Was it was that was that even addressed? 
Uh, yeah, it definitely was, but it honestly, it, I honestly went is the way I didn't think it would go. Like, I honestly thought it was going to be like, you know, some guys who still felt some kind of way about the game or some guys who had a kind of envy or any kind of animosity. But like I said, like this team brought me in with unbelievable arms and welcomed me. And honestly, we didn't even have any sort of issue about that. It was just honestly, like, I honestly got more congratulated than anything like, oh, this and that. So like the guys just brought me in. They wanted me to work with them and I honestly forgot about that game. Like, I just, I want to win it with this team. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, like, everybody was just happy for me and just happy I was here and we just wanted to work. Kind of bouncing off that, how do you think coming in in the spring, you talked about your relationship with Bryce off the field, but kind of helped develop your relationship with him on the field and building that chemistry um, and getting in, you know, some earlier reps. I mean, yeah, coming in the spring, uh, I was able to come in and, uh, you know, meet with uh, Bryce a lot, meet with my receiver coach a lot, meet with our uh, offensive coordinator a lot. So, you know, and based off that, those meetings as well, you know, those help out a lot too, but nothing is better to me than repetition. So honestly, just getting out there and practice and repping, repping the amount of plays is uh, is honestly helpful. You didn't record a drop last season. Is that something you're aware of? And first of all, do you remember your last drop? And also, how much time do you take just working on, you know, your hands and, and uh, catch, you know? Um, you know, in this receiver room, especially, uh, our coach really praises that, uh, you know, you just hop on the jug machine or do whatever you can to make sure you, you know, get your hands right. So, um, honestly, I didn't even, uh, I didn't, I, I didn't even pay attention to that or as well when I, something I don't really plan to pay attention to, but at the end of the day, it's like, as a receiver, you know, you know what the money is and you know what you have to catch. So, you know, what you have to work on to warm your hands up. Uh, so as far as that goes, it's just getting into that rhythm and catching the ball.